So the first major task we're going to have a look at is two-dimensional rendering. Now for two-dimensional rendering, what we are attempting to do is to make a shape that is flat look as if it has a 3D effect. So we're going to apply the basic principle that the light source will be coming from the top left corner as we did on the engager. So as the light shines down on the character, any surface which is close to the top edge will be the lightest at the top and then as it makes its way across the surface it will become darker. You can be seen quite clearly on the cape here where it moves from being light across to dark and again on the legs they're moving from a light at the left hand side to dark on the right hand side. And what you'll need for this task are a couple of coloured pencils in this particular case if you want to do the full Superman scheme then going for red, yellow, black and blue would be the best choice of pencils. If you don't have coloured pencils then you can do this with a normal HB pencil and it will work just fine. It's fairly straightforward. Personally being right handed I like to work from the right hand side across to the left on a shape like this. So I would start off dark as I work across the surface, I'll just put slightly less pressure on the pencil and lighten it up to the left hand surface being effectively white. Now I'm not going to show you the entire character, as you can see the solution on the left hand side. But again, just in regards to the cape, we'll have a look at this one. So we're going to go dark around the bottom edge, so furthest away from the light. And then we're going to go as light as we can to the other side. So again, it's just working across, applying slightly less pressure as we go. Working around and trying to get the colour consistent as we're going. So working through. Again, you may find it easier to move the paper as you go in. It will just mean that... Uh, get more consistent lines as you go in. So you're working across on the surface, lighten it up. If you treat each segment of the drawing as being a separate entity, so if I was doing the cape on the other side, I would again start off, start off as dark as possible and then move to being light as I work my way out. Again, you can just darken it up, and if you've got a rubber, if you find that it's gone too dark, you can just lighten it off. So, that's the first task we're looking at.